Oh, that's actually a good one. That's not really. Uh, Chris Titus. Chris Titus did a video on... Uh, I guess it was a two-year update video. So, I guess he's been making videos for... He's got 200,000 subscribers. What the fuck? When did Chris hit 215,000 subscribers? Um, yeah, so... He has 200,000 subscribers. He's been doing this for like two or so years. And I watched this video and people on my Discord server was like, oh, it's a sort of cringy video. But I look at it in a very different way. The way I look at this video is this is someone who has been super, super dedicated for the past, you know, however long. I don't, I think the first year he made videos once a day, every single day. And then this year it's once every other day. Um, but this is someone who's been super, super dedicated to making sure that they put out content every day or basically every day, making sure that content's good, trying to improve his content over time and just generally building a business, just building a business yourself. And I find that to be really admirable. I don't particularly watch much of Chris's content just because a lot of his stuff is very, very beginner friendly and it's not the sort of stuff that... I really find interest in watching. Now, I do make some of those beginner-friendly videos myself, but I don't personally find any value in watching them for myself. That's not to say they're not valuable. That's just to say that I'm sort of past the point where a lot of those topics are super valuable for me. For example, if you want to know how to switch from Windows 10 to Linux Mint, like that's not something I really have any interest in or minimal Windows 10 install or how to set up... Actually, this one might be interesting. Um, or D, actually, D, Google to Google for my mouse would be cool. But this one here. Customizing your first Linux install. Things like that. Or choosing my web browser. Things like that. Those sorts of videos I don't typically find any reason to watch. But I get why people watch them. And I get why people are enjoying them. And I'm actually really happy with the fact that he's managed to actually make it this far. Because I didn't think that making Linux content, you could really get yourself a channel that's this big because I think second to Chris that I can think of would probably be Luke. And Luke is at, I think Luke is at like 99 point something. Luke is at 99.6. And I guarantee that when he hits 100K, he's not going to be around to make a video. Because when was his last video? Three weeks ago. Luke is a absolutely horrendous YouTuber. He makes amazing videos, but he is a terrible YouTuber. He will, like, what? How often does he take breaks? So, three weeks ago, three weeks ago, okay, he did a couple of videos this in this one, and then last month, he did, like, five videos. <laughs> As I said, he's a terrible YouTuber, but all of his videos are really good. So I see why his channel's so big as well. But... I feel like if Luke actually did put in the effort, he probably could have a channel around the same size as Chris, but he's just going off and done his like boomer thing, living in the forest somewhere and doesn't really care about the fact that he's built up this really, really good position for himself with only 340 videos. This is actually a really small amount of videos for the, um, the size of his channel, especially when you look at Chris. Chris is at 555 videos and I think I'm... I think I'm at like close to 400. So yeah, obviously my content's been pretty bad for a while. So it's fair that uh, <laughs> I don't have the same level of growth. But Luke, on the other hand, makes amazing content. He's just really, really lazy with making it. And I don't know. <laughs> the fact that he's got this position where um, where 4chan really likes him and that's sort of where a lot of his subscribers come from as you can probably tell from his comment section but he doesn't really take advantage of that fact I know he's been doing occasionally doing some stuff on Peertube and he does occasionally upload like um, what's the word I'm thinking of exclusive content on Peertube but still generally He's not uploading that much content, just, you know, in general. Generally in general. I'm saying things that make literally no sense this week. I could have just started the recording again, like, back at the start. But now that I'm an hour in, I, uh, I'm not doing that.
So, yeah, I think Chris is uh, doing really good content. Not my content, uh, but really good content anyway. Speaking of someone else who's uh, making content, Mr. Brian Lunduk. His videos... Holy shit, I don't know how his videos have been doing this badly recently. So, um... <laughs> he has 69,000 subscribers. His views are less than mine. I don't know what Lunduk has done to piss people off. I, I just, I genuinely don't know. Is it, is it this video right here? Myth macOS is based on uh, Linux or BSD. Actually, <laughs> his videos did drop off when he did the video is open source similar to socialism. So <laughs> maybe there was a lot of, uh, a lot of commies subscribed to his channel. And now that, uh, <laughs> now that he uploaded that, is just like, whoop. But he also did this video talking about his locals, and that did, like, got kind of downvoted a lot. But before this point, like, look at this. Most of his videos do fairly well. It's like, ah, oh, three and a half thousand. It's not great for a channel with 70,000 subscribers, but it's still more than what he's doing right now. So, like, seven, um, three and a half thousand, four and a half thousand, two and a half thousand, eight and a half, five and a half, and a half, five and a half. And then after this point, 1K. 1.2, 790, 1.5, 1K, 913, 1.8. 1.8 is terrible for a channel his size, but at least that's in the realm that's slightly higher than my typical views. I typically get in the realm of one to two and a half on most content. The two and a half is on like the higher end when I do a video on like some cool alacrity feature or I do some really really normie friendly video in those videos they typically do well if i do something like here's this random github application that does a very specific task those typically get around a thousand views which is still really impressive for that sort of content i wouldn't have ever expected that i could make videos talking about just literal nonsense on github and still manage to like build up a following around that but i don't know what's going on with lunduk's views here I'm assuming that he probably pissed people off. It may have something to do with uh, what's been going on his, on his Twitter, because I know he lost like a thousand Twitter followers, <laughs> like two thousand Twitter followers. Um, so maybe that's finally hit his YouTube channel. He hasn't lost subscribers though. It's I think it's sort of just people are not watching his content, and it might also have something to do with the fact they don't really like uh, Matt here. I don't know. That's possible. When Lunduk's by himself, he typically makes fairly interesting content. I know some people are going to disagree with that, but I feel like his content is still fairly interesting. But, but I don't know. Is it is it a common trend whenever he has Matt on the channel? No, even back in, back in the past when he had Matt on the channel, he was doing just fine. Even when he was literally just reading articles that he wrote like 10 years ago. Even those videos did well. Even when he was doing live streams all the time, those did well as well. But some reason... Something has happened recently where his videos have just completely tanked. And whether it has something to do with this video right here, I don't know. Whether it has to do with this, I don't know. But it is something that has happened. 